Antigua and Barbuda Prime Minister Gaston Brown announced plans to request that the shareholder government of the defunct Liat limited use an escrow fund to pay severance to former employees. Brown stated that his government initially proposed a 50% severance payment, which was reduced to 30% because of the lack of cooperation from the Antigua and Barbuda Workers Union. However, the union insists that former Liat workers are owed millions in severance and other benefits. He says this financial relief will have minimal impact impact on the shareholder government's budgets, but would significantly help the former Liat employees. I am now calling on publicly, and I'll be writing to them formally on Monday, calling on all of the shareholding governments of the former Liat 1974 Limited to subordinate the interest in that money, and also the Caribbean Development Bank too, to subordinate, subordinate the interest and to make the 12 million US dollars available to the former workers of Liat 1974 Limited as an ex gratia payment in lieu of the severance that would have been payable. And this will not hurt any of the governments because when you look at the amounts here, you're talking about, in the case of um, the Barbados government, let's say it's half, 6 million US dollars. 6 million US dollars in the context of the size of the Barbados government cannot hurt that government. In the case of the Antiguan government, you're talking about four million US dollars. That cannot hurt the Antiguan government. But you have staff out there hurting for years. Hmm. In the context of the Caribbean Development Bank, they have nothing to lose because the sovereign debt that we have been paying